Good morning. We're standing here on the corner of Weaver's Mead and Updown Hill in the middle village area of Bolnor Village. And just so you know where we are, the village square is literally just behind. This is a building called Woodcote House, which has some apartments. But just over the back of that is the village square where you have the co-op store and uh, a couple of other shops. The village primary school, which is what most people are here for, is just there. That's Bolnor Village Primary School. Um, it's a lovely school. Um, it's one of the free schools in the country. And actually, uh, they even have classes in the woodland. So that tree line you're looking at there is the woodland, which is very lovely. And there's a footpath just here. There's loads of access points into the woods in Bolnor Village. And Bolnor is surrounded by glorious woodland, which has all been protected. Um, Bolnor is now finished, the development is now finished, the last few houses are just being occupied now. It's taken 20 years, but it's been very, very popular with families, mainly because of the school. But also, like I say, they've really laid the village out very nicely, with lots of very clever landscaping, but the woodland and all the countryside around it is safe, that's not going anywhere. So what you see now is what you get with Bolnor. There's loads of pathways around it, it's a really good village community. And there's all sorts of things going on. There's a, um, the Woodside Pavilion, which is just down below us here, where there's some playing fields and uh, a skate park and uh, all weather pitches. Um, there's loads goes on there with mums and toddlers groups and all sorts there. So there's lots going on. But anyway, here we are. We're here to see number six, Weaver's Mead, which is uh, the left-hand side of those two brick houses there. This is a, uh, these were built by Bovis Homes. God, I reckon about 15 years ago now, certainly 12 to 15 years ago. Um, and this is one of their, what I, we, we think is one of their more flexible design houses. So this is a, a townhouse. It's on three floors, as you can see. Now it's got a living room on the first floor, but you'll see that front left-hand window is actually either a playroom, a fourth bedroom, or some people have actually used that as the lounge and had the lounge upstairs as a massive fourth bedroom. So anyway, do come in. I could put my mask on, so bear with me. I'll whip my shoes off. So here we are. Now the house, the owners bought this one off us about five years ago. It's all spotlessly clean and very tidy, right down to our selection of shoes under the stairs. You've got an understairs cupboard there. There's a downstairs loo, great big downstairs loo. You can get a shower in those, they're so big. And then this is the flexible option. So this is the little study, fourth bedroom, playroom, could be the living room if you just want a TV room. These guys had this as a uh, playroom for their children, but obviously since lockdown, suddenly made it into a home office, which is far more flexible. Nice aspect to the front. I didn't actually show you actually, but just across the road, there's like a little green patch there, which is all very nice. So you're not looking straight into another house. And then this house, great design with this huge kitchen. So great big space, there's an understairs cupboard there, various built-in appliances. But as you can see, plenty of room for a decent table and chairs. I'll quickly just show you the through into the back garden. The back garden, this is west facing this house. So this is a lovely sunny aspect. We're here at lunchtime, so the sun's coming over the top shortly. But that obviously gets all the evening sun. And the garage and the parking space is out the back there as well. But really nice, all spotlessly clean. And then come upstairs. I've mentioned that little green opposite, but all these little landscape areas and little greens and the kids' play areas and everything else is all part of the management of the complex. Because everywhere in somewhere like Bolnor Village, I think the owners here, they all, all the houses pay around about 300, 350 pounds a year as a service charge for the upkeep of the estate. So it's all very nice. So here we are on the first floor. This is the living room, if that's what you want to use it as. And a nice big room. And again, west facing with these big long windows. These guys have got blinds up against the windows, which loses a bit of light, but it's a nice big room. Yeah, it's got the feature fireplace there. And then on the first floor, you've got a bedroom. A couple of guys are very pleased with this bedroom. So that's overlooking the front. That's that little green I mentioned. And they've got a great big bunk bed in here. This is like a, a double bed underneath and a single upstairs. A set of wardrobes, so a nice size double bedroom there. So that's bedroom, if you like, three. And then come up to the top floor. Now this end of Bolnor, you can walk into the town, to the hospital and to the station in about 20, 25 minutes from here. So it's actually a lot closer to 
Hoseley Town Centre and the station people think. But by car, because you've got to drive all the way around with Bolnoy, it seems a long way. So here we are, this is the second bedroom, up on the top. So again, great big cupboard in this one. Nice size room. I mean, as you can see, we've got a little child's bedroom and a cot in here. This is a decent sized bedroom. And then across the way, you've got the family bathroom. All spotlessly clean, fully tiled. Like I said earlier, Bovis Homes did these, not Cress Nicholson. So in my opinion, this is quite a nice finish of house. And then the main bedroom, upstairs at the back, great big double. Good wall of uh, wardrobes there. And then this one's got the uh, big Velux window. So if I pull that down, gives you an idea. And this is where you can see where the garages are. So the garages are over on the right hand side. These little Muse coach house flats um, are uh, obviously little two, there's two two bedroom flats above the garages. Your garage, I think in most cases, is leasehold. So that will come out in the legal patch. But it's the second garage on the right down there and you can park in front of it. And I think there's some visitor spaces around there as well. But thankfully you're in a part of the village where parking is not a problem. And you've got the village square with loads of parking. So if you're having a party with lots of people coming, you've got a lot of room. So a good sized bedroom. And these Veluxes have got the blackout blinds. So if you don't like the evening sun in these, you can close those down easily enough. And then this one has the ensuite. Again, spotlessly clean with a Velux window and the shower there. So there you go, that's number six Weaver's Mead. It's immaculately uh, presented. It's got that flexible arrangement of accommodation. So you've got three to four bedrooms or for those working from home, might, might, might prefer to use it the way the owners have used this. But they've got two young boys, so it's great that you've got that flexible ground floor room as a study, a playroom, or a little living room. And then like I say, this front room, which is meant to be the living room, could be another great big bedroom or whatever, but fabulous big sitting room. But there you go. Hope you like that. If you'd like any more uh, questions or you want to view it, please contact our Hayward Teacup.